We want to get our totem piece first. Oh. So we're gonna head over here. Grab a card, grab a totem, and then move on. So our past couple runs, we've had just squ squirrels, sacrifices, and then better sacrifices. Uh, hang on. Well, this does kind of tie into what I was going to say. So the past couple rounds with the totem, we've had just squirrels and hares, which was great. You got to double up on your sacrifices. And then we had unkillable squirrels, which is amazing and probably the best you can possibly get for a totem. I don't want to do that again. So now we have to go a different route. Um, maybe we try and grab a totem that gives us the buy. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Oh, I can bifurcated. Thank you. Bifurcated strike on a, on a species of animal. See if we can get a bunch of those. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, black goat. Do we want this? What it lets us do is on our first turn, we can put down the squirrel, sacrifice it for a black goat, sacrifice the black goat for a, a heavy cost unit card. That's pretty good. Elk fawn is pretty good too, just because it's a one cost two four, and then it moves around the board. So that's not too bad. I kind of like the idea of going for the black goat. And then if we can get unkillable on it, that would be great. Or the infinite sacrifice from, uh, from whatever is it, child 13, I think. Let's take the black goat. We'll try and build around that. Okay. So here's our totem choice. Now, unfortunately, okay. You came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. So, ah, see here's the struggle, is with our first totem piece, we want to be picking one of the bottom parts. Um, but then that only applies to squirrels. I guess it lets squirrels defend the, yeah, neither of these are useful with squirrels. To be honest, neither of these things are things we'd want anyway. So given that's the case, I guess we pick the bird totem head. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. We're picking the bird totem head. The gray haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Oh, but she leaves the squirrel. Oh, I thought she was going to take the squirrel head away. Well, that's nice then. Um, all right, we have a black goat and I think that, can I check what is in my deck? Yeah, I, I, the wolf is the most expensive thing in our deck, which means we can sacrifice the squirrel, black goat, get a wolf. Turn one is pretty good. And I think that means we would just win afterwards. If we put the stoat, no, never mind. That's not gonna let us win within two turns. So we hit for three, they hit us for two. We hit for three, that gets us to four. Not quite there. I could use that squirrel. That's how we could do it. I could use that squirrel to get one more damage in. We're gonna do it. I just want to win as quickly as possible and move on to other stuff. I think we're gonna have no problem getting more items. At least that's been the case so far, where we've had more items than we know what to do with. All right, go ahead, Mr. Square Stout. Uh, Stout. Why is he square? Does that mean anything? Like he's transforming here. What is going on with him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops, salutations. We did it. Okay, let's pick up a new card. So we have the bird head on the totem. So we want to pick up a bird. Oh, hmm, I don't recall making that one. Oh. So there's a bird. Um, what is this? Bell ring. Uh, well, that's really tough. Does that somehow interact with the chimes? 
There's that the dog or the the dower, I think. The dower summons two chimes. Does this have anything to do with it? So I'm very curious what that does. I'd like to pick it, but given we have a bird totem, I'm gonna pick the turkey vulture. Uh I'm just I know exploring is what I should be doing, and we probably win anyway if we pick this, but I'd like to go with my my tribal stuff. So we can go here for the totem piece, or we can go here. I don't think we have anything worth putting on the sigil. The black goat, maybe. Put the black goat on... No, no, there's nothing worth doing there. So we're going to the totem to see what we get. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable, considerable age. Alright, so it's the same choices again, which sucks. Flying is no good for us. Moving side to side. Oh, wait, no, it's not quite the same choice. Do we pick up another head? Do we get to keep these between runs? Is that the case, maybe? Uh... Yeah, things moving is not helpful to us at all. Alright, we'll pick up the ant head, I guess. Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. Hmm, interesting. So we could go this way for the trapper. We haven't collected any teeth yet, so that's not super helpful to us. So I think we stick with this path. Hmm, okay. This is a damage race. A damage race where he's able to hit my guys, but I can't hit his. That's really rough. Alright. I can somewhat block with the stink bug. Like, it'll stop him from dealing one damage to me. We don't have the wolf. Oh, this is unfortunate. Might have to steal his wolf cub, actually. Alright. Squirrel down. Stoat here. Get him, boy. What is that? The alpha buffs them, eh? Um, we're gonna draw hoping we get a wolf. We got a wolf. The alpha boosts the guys to the left and right. I may very well have to steal that underwater guy. We're dealing only three. He'll be dealing two. He'll be killing the stink bug. We do three, and then we deal three again. Never mind. We win with this. Yep. See, you, bud. Wolf. And then stink bug over here. And that wins the game because we'll hit once. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. Yeah. And then he hits him. He deals one, and then we deal three back. Doesn't matter what we do here. We even got a tooth. Alright, new card. Uh, the Dauntless Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. And the Opossum. Uh, okay, well now's our chance to pick up this, whatever it does. Bell Ring. Okay, we're grabbing that. And we can go here. We could put Bell Ring on something else. Uh, let's see here. So, turkey vulture. Oh, we cannot put bell ring on something else. Oh, I see, right. That's, that's, it's attack. Hmm. Stink bug, blocking, flying. I don't really want to sacrifice the turkey vulture. The black goat could go on something else. We could sacrifice the stink bug and put him on something else. What should we put him on? Here, there are not very good options here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we put the black goat on the stink bug? 
I don't know. That seems odd. Like, if we needed to... No, that's a bad idea. Can I skip? Like, I kind of feel this is... Oh, I guess we could remove the bullfrog. Yeah, we can get rid of the bullfrog by doing this. We'll just put the bullfrog in... Yep, see bud, and put it on the stoat. Good enough. Just to clean up the deck. A fine choice. All right, now our options here. There's a sigil, but we don't have good use for it right now. We could do the totem fight and then get a card and then go to the campfire. It's probably our best option. Picking up an item is not super valuable to us. Hmm, okay. They'll be moving around the board. The wolves will. So his wolf is going to come in, deal one damage, move over here, and then I need to put something down to kill it at that point. Uh, oh, we can get this thing with the black goat. I would rather get the wolf going. Ooh, actually. Yeah, 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 we put the wolf here and then he kills the wolf cub on the next turn. Or we just win on the next turn. What am I saying? All right. <laughs> Getting a wolf out on the first turn is so strong. There you go. That's a win for us. He deals this one, we deal three. Game over. Let's get a new card. Turkey Vulture. I think we're still aiming for a uh, bird deck. Well, the wolf is awesome. Let's grab a Turkey Vulture. Oh, it shows the fungus underneath it to say we have a duplicate. I understand. Cool. So we could end up with a really strong vulture. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Uh, who are we increasing the health of? Hmm, let's increase this thing's health. I don't know what it does, really, but it can be healthier. There we go. You had an idea. Why not warm your creature by the fire for just a moment longer? One of the starving survivors took a step closer. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. That's cool. Uh, do I, do I push my luck? One of them took a step closer. I think we're all right with him at five health for now. The fire warmed the weary bell tentacle and enhanced his health. Wait, you suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your bell tentacle in, in tow, you retreated into the woods. Yeah. All right, here we go, the Prospector. I'm not feeling super confident about our deck. The trees closed in tight around you, creating an impen impenetrable brush. The only way out was forward. And the hobbled shape of a man stood in that way. Got any g g gold in there, Skull? Let me crack it open and take a look. Uh, just pop that mule. Yep, yep. Been here, done this. Uh, I'm going to get the wolf out right away. Actually, you know what? We could, uh, no, his coyote's gonna offset the damage. So... His coyote's not gonna offset the damage. We can just win right away. But then he turns us into... Right, right, right. He hits our guys and turns them into gold. That is frustrating. Um, if we put the greater smoke in right away. All right, so first things first, we're doing this for sure. Not that, we're doing this for sure. All right, we want to kill that pack mule, and then we want to kill him after. 
So if I were to put the smoke down right now, we would deal four. You deal none. We would hit that and hit that. He would maybe deal something, I guess. Uh, I think I'm better off just waiting. Not dealing that one damage. Oh, wait. Because if he doesn't deal damage to us on the turn after... Yeah, it's a mole. Oh, well, I guess the mole... Mm, Alright. I guess they would have worked out with the mole. Oh, turkey vulture, but we do not have eight bones. Nowhere near that. Let's put that greater smoke down to kill the coyote. And... Go ahead. Oh, I forgot the mule would move out of the way. Dang it. Let's draw another card. Salutations. Yeah. Uh, the wolf is not quite going to win. We can put the stink bug down, sure. Oh, right. Of course, the wolf is going to get blocked by the mule. By the mole. So if we go with this, this is perfect. We're going to have perfect... Oh, no, it's not perfect. I have gone and filled up the board again. I am an idiot. I know how this round works. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, draw a second turkey vulture, which isn't going to help. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, we got some cards, that's good. My mule, and her pack! There's gold in them cards! G -g gold I've struck gold um all right what do we have for sacrifices we have a squirrel and that's all and a bat okay we gotta pick up a squirrel and then sit tight because we can't get through the gold nuggets get him that bloodhound um all right we can sacrifice one Getting a raven egg here is no good for us. We can deal one damage with the stoat. Yeah, it's not very efficient, but we could do it. Actually, hold on. We want to hold on to this. No, take two damage. No, no. We got to use the squirrel. Put the stoat down. This is the hardest boss in the game. Um, Go for it, stoat. You got this. It's not like he's going to kill you. I can... That's an adder. That's what we wanted the stoat for. So... Shoot. You know what? We have to draw this. Oh, right. Oh, no. Okay, well, whatever. The adder's just going to be dealing one damage per turn there. That doesn't matter. Okay, in fact, it actually gives us a spot for a squirrel so we can summon a two cost. What do we want to summon opposite the Bloodhound? Looks like there's only one real choice. I have no idea what this does. We'll find out. This might be a for short run. Here. Uh, one, two, and put it here. One! Yeah. All right, uh, we can put nothing there. All right, go for it. Deal that one damage. Oh, we're running out of time. All right, good. He cleared that for us, that's helpful. Now we need something to kill that wolf. I guess it has to be the adder. that down okay oh 
Oh my gosh, we're running out of time. We can't put anything down here because the adder's just gonna kill it. All we have is flying guys. That's so silly. <laughs> we're not gonna kill him at this rate. Four. How many bones do we have? Can I count those? Like, I can put a vulture down and just deal three damage. Maybe that's what we do. Just to get the damage going. Uh, for half the cost, we can put a bat down. Let's do that first. Okay. And you know what? That's actually not so bad. He's not putting anything else down anymore. We're fine. We're good. Easy. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Alright, what do we got? We got a strange larva. Those are awesome. Amalgram. Amalgam is pretty good. Amoeba. The amorphous amoeba. Amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. That's cool. I'm taking that. I don't know how good that is, but we could put a sigil on something else. Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. We will need another map. Tepid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. Alright, let's do a trial. We're going to fail this trial, without a doubt. Alright, trial of power. The trial of health. And the trial of wisdom. You know what? Trial of wisdom's a possibility. Let's do that one. Let the trial of wisdom begin. That's one. That's none. That's one. Dang it. Failure, the creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. Hmm. And then we draw an item. This run is not going so well for us. What do we want? Pliers? Give everything flying? So this, yeah. Your creatures will attack as though they have airborne sigil this turn. That's not useful for me because I'm going birds. I guess, uh, pliers. Self-harm. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We can combine our vultures there for a 6-6 six, six flyer. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, obviously we're going to do the fight. All right. Lucky draw. Almost. If only we had another sacrifice. Okay, he's a stink bug this game. Interesting. Well, my first turn is not so great here. He's going to have a worker ant. With a strength of two? Does this thing count as a, an insect? I guess so. Hmm. Well, we're going to wait a turn. Oh, he's only got a strength of one. What is that symbol then? Alright. Let's put this down and... The mantis. Okay. I was going to put... Well, I guess think we still want to kill the worker ant with our wolf. Yeah, we're still going to do that. So we're putting the wolf down to kill the worker ant. And then we'll take one damage from the mantis. And then we'll put our stoat down here. Or our amoeba. We can put our amoeba down here to kill the mantis either way. Yeah. Oh, actually, we can we can do that right now. Prevent the one damage. Perfect. Thank you, stinky. And we'll pick up uh we'll pick up a squirrel. We can put the stoat down. Total misplay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oops. That's no good. Here, let's draw a card. The black coat. That's no good. The mantis again? That's the perfect spot for him to put it. Hmm, a turkey vulture. Nowhere near on bones. That's alright. Well, we're winning. 
We can draw another card. Ooh, this thing. I uh, I wish I knew what it was. What did bell ring or? Oh, for how many turns it's been since? Oh, I bet that's what it is. How many times I've rung the bell? Which means I should just win if I put it down at this point, right? Are we willing to test that theory? Goodbye, stoat. We're gonna sacrifice the stoat for the goat. Because I want to keep the amoeba against the mantis, just in case this doesn't pan out. Alright, goodbye, goat. Only two. We have definitely had more than two turns. How does this work? Doesn't matter. We won anyway. Hmm. Very curious. So, what I'm thinking right now is we could combine the vultures, but. What happens if you put a sigil on each vulture and then combine them? You just get all the sigils, right? That'd be a long-term play. I think it's better we just we just go ahead with uh, combining them right now. It costs eight bones, which is pretty expensive. So getting a six-six out of it would be great. So a two cost, a three cost, or a bone cost. I feel we're going for bones. Uh oh, actually, you know what? Three cost to go with our goat. Let's pick that. The Great White, the tyrannical Great White, the master of the deep. It is pretty good. That is actually really good. Because not many things deal four damage. And then he can't he basically can't be killed. Alright. Do do you have a, they are not victims? Alright, goodbye, turkey vulture. You you should you don't want to see this. The operation, is it complete? Awesome. We'll fight his totem. I want another totem option. Alright, his insects will be moving back and forth. Well, we got our combo right there. Ooh, he'll be dealing four damage though. Too bad. I'm doing my thing. Black goat. And great white. That's pretty easy. Now he's gonna offset that immediately. Ooh. And then they move in the way of their own guys, which is helpful to me. There's a B. Uh I shoot, actually. I'm going to need a sacrifice. Nope, no I'm not. I can just block it with a squirrel, and I win next turn. Wait, no I don't. He doesn't have flying. <laughs> Alright, blocking it with a squirrel was the wrong choice. So these guys, I mean, that overkill is super helpful. And it only benefits the player. That's very kind of them to provide that. Oh, here we go. A stink bug's useful. We'll put the stink bug over here. And then that stops the mantis when he comes out. Way to go, shark. That's so strong. Uh, unless there's a ringworm, then it's not as good. Oh, the mantis moved out of the way. He's going to hit my stink bug. Uh, all right, we'll wait a turn. Okay, and then he moves back, and he's going to get hit by the stink bug then. And we will not sacrifice the stink bug this turn. Although we could, and then we would win. Let's do that. And it's a three. I don't... Under Maybe it's the earlier you play it, the more damage it has. So the more times you ring the bell, the less damage it has in the long run. So if you get it out on turn one, it could be really strong. Okay. That's my assumption. Oh, I should have gone the right path. Oops. I should have gone the right path for the totem. Well, going here, we'll get a campfire and then that and then the trapper, I guess. All right. Our options are... Is that a bird? Insect, stag. That must be bird. 
reptile, I guess. Okay. Hmm. River snapper. Well, we'll go to the campfire. Plus one attack. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its power, said another. Uh, please no, he says. We can give more power to our turkey vulture. Not needed. Great white's pretty good. We could make our river snapper a 2-6. That seems decent. I'm not against that. I think that's a decent idea. It does cost two to summon him though. Hmm. If we put it on the great white, then as long as we get him and the goat in our starting hand, we win. That could be worth. Or we could put it on the amoeba. Let's put it on the amoeba. No. No, you know what we're going to do is we're going to put on the river snapper and eventually put the amoeba's effect on the river snapper. Or something along those lines. Alright. Surely your creature could become more powerful. And you know what? Let's give that a try. But you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck or pull away. Let's do it. Oh, we did it. Luck was on your side. Perhaps one more moment? But you sensed the risk was now even greater. Push your luck further or run back. I think three is good. We're very happy with that. The power of the river snapper was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, who withdrew. Awesome. Now our river snapper is like a wolf with three times the health. Hey, it's speak of the devil. There's a wolf. Oh, good. We get to try this thing out. So worker ants, uh, they're going to deal some damage to us. We'll put this down, we'll put this down, and we'll put this down. And it only has one, so I really don't get the relationship with the bell. Oh, that's awful. Okay, we may have just lost the game, actually. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, Alright, let's see what we draw. Stink bug. I mean, that's somewhat useful. Oh. No, I think we actually have to use some of these things here. Oh no. If we steal his ant, this is sad. Okay, the ringworm's gonna block that mantis. This ant and this ant are gonna be in here. Okay, we're putting that down there, for sure. I think we have to steal that ant. Ugh. That feels awful. Alright. He's gonna have another ant come in. Okay, let's see what we get from this. The stoat. Now, his ant is going to come in with three attack. Hmm. No, it's going to come in with two. Yeah, no, yeah, because... No, it's only ants. Number of ants on the table. Okay, so we're killing this ant this turn. Which means it's going to have two attack, so this ant will die to it. Instead, we could just sacrifice that ant to the stoat to keep, to keep him alive another turn. That makes more sense. There we go. All right. The stink bug's really good. Um. All right. And now we want to sacrifice some things. One is the stoat, one is that. Mm -hmm. No, we don't want to sacrifice that. It's going to kill the ant for us. So we'll draw a squirrel. Put a squirrel down, sacrifice these two. Put the wolf down here so he can kill the ant. Alright, we got this. 
Hang on. Okay, first of all, I messed up. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's reducing his attack by one. Okay, we're good. Ooh, our big river snapper. Let's speed things up. Stinkbug, you did a great job. I guess I could have sped things up by just putting in the other lane. Well, we get more teeth this way. That's what I was thinking, yes. Oh, I was hoping for the... for the... vulture. I don't know if we had eight teeth, though. Or eight bones. Alright, so we do have some teeth. We can go here and grab some pelts. I think that's a good idea. And then eventually we'll see the trader and get some cards from him for the pelts. You won't find cheaper pelts within a hundred miles. Uh, well, we're gonna grab golden pelts. Take one. Thank you. I'll take two. Thank you very much. Can I take a third? No. You'll need more teeth for that one. We're good with those. You have me gratitude. And to the campfire. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. I think we know what we're putting in here, our super snapper. Yeah. And I'm not risking this. Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful, but the survivors looked hungrier by the second. Push your luck or pull away. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your river snapper. We going on to the angler. What you first mistook for a mishapen mis boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. All right, we got a black goat. Arr, nothing to use it with. Dang. So there's a kingfisher dealing one damage per turn. Not a big concern. Do we? Uh, do we just not put anything down so he doesn't steal it? I think that's actually what we do. We'll just sit around. I could deal one damage with my guy, but then he'd steal my guy. <laughs> All right, draw something big. It's a great white. Uh, so that's awesome. Let's just put the great white down. Put a squirrel. Take new fish, easy. And black goat. Take new fish, easy. And great white. Hmm, fresh juice. That is actually a fish. You could have said that. Take new fish, but uh. Instead, oh, if we give him the golden pelt, do we just lose the golden pelt? I would hope not. But possibly. Let's put the golden pelt down. And block his... Ah, oh, we don't need to block the kingfisher. We just do that. Hmm, fresh shoes. Go for it. That way those three lanes are blocked. A one damage, a one damage, and a pelt. And then... Our shark can take out anything in this lane. Go, fish. Uh, and we will draw another card. Why not? Ah, oh, it's a golden pelt. How handy. So, we just sit. We're just gonna win in the long run. Oh, and the short run too, I guess. Go fish. Oh, right. The bait bucket. I forgot about that. Um... Yeah, we'll draw a card. We can't sacrifice anything for that right now. We'll just sit here and take four, I guess. Not a fan of that. All right, go cool fish. Yep, yep, yep. Not, not the best situation. He is ahead of us on the, the back and forth. So we can pick up a squirrel. 
and sacrifice the squirrel and the greater smoke to put down this thing. I have no idea what power it's going to have. Let's find out. Squirrel, greater smoke, and sacrifice them both for this. And only one. I I do not get this. Whatever. Alright. We're beating him by one. But we are on the back foot. Uh, let's pick up... Let's pick up another one of these. River Snapper! Yeah! Uh, hang on, can we put this down? No, you don't have eight bones yet. Lose some creatures. Uh, yeah, let's go. We're gaining by one. Buckets are coming down. That's actually really tough, isn't it? We can put down... This, put a squirrel, sacrifice that just weirdly useless thing for a river snapper here to deal four. And we've sacrificed enough things now that we can put the flying guy up here and he'll just fly over the bucket. We win. We get a lot of teeth for it. You will not perish quite yet. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Uh, child 13. Put that on our goat, maybe. <gasps> Mantis God. And the douse. Okay, okay, okay. Bell list. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. But the chime is defined as zero power, one health. Um. Hmm. I mean, obviously, these two are the ones. I'm kind of curious about what happens with this guy. But the Mantis God and the Child 13 are both so good. Let's have a look at our cards. Oh my gosh. We could put Mantis on the Great White. I think we have to do that. If we get a Great White out, we just win. Um, the other option is Child 13 on the Black Goat, which is actually really good. Hmm... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I was I was still considering. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. Shaken, but with a newfound resolve, you move past the pond where the angler now lay. Let me see. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth, but you had finally reached the snow line. Alright, we can trade for some cards here and do the sigil. That's perfect. I wouldn't mind getting a totem. I am anticipating some extraordinary pelts. Hair pelts. Uh, we can get the bandus. Uh, this guy builds a dam. Hmm. Ooh, field mice. <gasps> Corpse maggots. Hang on. Can I... I need to go check the wall. I forgot about the... Lining things up on the wall. Corpse maggots is really good. Um, field mice is nice if we get another sigil thing. We could put that on our river snapper. Just have lots of four sixes. Hmm. At the same time, Mantis is just pretty reliable. This thing is worthless. I don't know. I don't. I don't quite get it. Tough choice. Oh, field mice on the goats. Would that be worth it? Oh, we already have child 13. We want to put that on the goat. That's what we're doing next. Okay, we'll, we'll grab mantis, I think. I am tempted to grab corpse maggots, though. Hmm. But we could put mantis on the shark. That would be funny. Man, I can't believe I chose the... Uh, marvelous. Oh, there you go. There's a Mantis God. Ouroboros. There we go. Oh my gosh, we have so many choices now. Well, we definitely want Mantis God, so we're taking that. And 
a two cost for Ouroboros. Uh, what would we put on that? You know what? Maybe we just want the strange larva. It's just easier to use. Yeah. Amalgam is two cost, three, three. That counts for everything, but we don't even have a totem yet. So strange larva it is. I will make good use of these. All right, sigil it is. All right, tough choice. Child 13 with the black goat. That's an obvious one. But child 13 is actually pretty useful on its own. Mantis God, which is useful on its own, with the Great White. I find that a little bit more exciting. Oh, we can put the amoeba on the strange larva. That'd be kind of fun. Mm. We haven't played our 6-6 six, six vulture yet. Mantis God on the Great White. I just, I, I just think that's awesome. As long as they don't have porcupines. Hmm. Those are two very good choices. The black goat... Only really helps us for the great white and a couple other things. Like the wolves and the river turtle. Let's put the mantis god on first. Mantis god... On the great white. Go for it. Amazing. All right. Show me your moves. We got the turkey vulture and the stink bug. Don't really want both of them in the same hand. Okay, so we could put the stoat down. This is going to be a rough fight, actually. Hang on. Uh-oh. Okay, we put the stoat down. He... No, no, the, the mole's not here yet. Ooh, shoot. Well, this isn't good. Uh-oh. We can put... I guess we may as well start dealing damage. Yeah. I don't have great choices here. Oh no. Right, we're dealing damage to that. I should have thought that through. Oh no, this is bad. Ah, so close to being good. Dang it. <laughs> okay. We put the black goat down. Just to get the stink bug. We need the bones for it. Just to block for a turn. Might end up having to use those. Uh. Okay, give me the white. Great white. Dang. Uh, da, da, da. What are our chances, even if we use these? Like, if we draw something good in the next couple turns, then maybe? It's still tough. Like, that's a lot of blocking. So the great white wouldn't even necessarily get us out of this pickle because his first attack wouldn't deal any damage. Like, I guess if we put him here, he would kill the mole, hit that, deal four damage there. Uh, and then he just like sort of gets the elk and the moose both on the same thing.
Oh well. I can't give up here, right? Like, sure I lose a candle. Is that worth it? If we lose the candle, that means we don't have the greater smoke in our last fight. And the greater smoke is pretty darn helpful if you've got a two cost in hand. Like our river turtle. So I'd rather not lose this fight. Oh no, we're doing it. We're gouging out our eye. Here we go. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Horrifying. All right, then we take three damage. And we hope we draw something good. We don't. Ant spawner. Ugh. We can't even play it. Oh no. Oh no. We could sacrifice the goat just to put the child 13 down just to sacrifice it for the- just so that we have bone for the amoeba. And then we could put an ant down. Oh, this is awful. Okay, we're not banking on drawing the cart, the shark at this point, I guess. This is sad. Hang on. How much health? One, two, three, four. So... I could... Hold on to this. No, either way, he deals two and he deals two, so I need a miracle either way. Whereas if I put the ant down now... It's one damage. It's the same difference. Oh! What? Oh my goodness. Apparently child 13 transforms if you sacrifice it. That's a nice little secret. And amazing for us. Thank you for this opossum. No! I was saying thank you for the opossum, but now the moose is in the way. Like the moose pushed it aside. Ah. Uh. All right, well, let's make use of the sacrifice while we can. We can't. Oh, it's because the mole was brought aside by the worker ant. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So we sacrifice... Rough spot here. So we sacrifice the worker ant and the child 13. Can I undo that? I didn't know it would put him to sleep. Ah, uh, why, why is that not so clear? Okay, whatever. We lost out on two damage. Uh, I'm putting the wolf here. Putting the wolf here. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, to, to avoid dying to the elk. We'll die to him next turn anyway. Oh well. It's not looking good, folks. <laughs> Anything else we can do with this? If we put a squirrel down, we don't win anything. Strange larva. And then the moose moves there and kills us anyway. Oh wait, no, he doesn't move us there because the raven will be in the way. So... Oh, but we just die if we sacrifice the wolf. <laughs> okay. There, that's it. That's it. We... Take four and we die. Yeah, there's no surviving next turn. He's not peace. Oh, it is possible. Flyers. But then what's our plan? Like, we don't have anything to sacrifice. What am I doing? 
What am I doing? Gah! What a messy round. Uh, Mantis, go Mantis, we can't even put you down. Dang, too bad, too bad. All right. I hoped for more. Me too, bud. Oh, would you care for something? I missed that. Oh, another eye. Uh, let's grab the brown eye. Thank you. Happy with that one? Okay, hang on. Let's pull away from the table. We're, I don't think we're winning this run, so let's check what's on here. Squirrel, river snapper. We can do that. We can do that. We have those two things. Uh, let's pick up a card. And turkey vulture. <laughs> we never make use of it. Uh, the adder might be an option. Mm. You know what? The adder's a good just in case card. Oh, get rid of something. You came, you came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Nope, nope, nope. Do what you must. Uh, we are getting rid of... Oh, this thing's pretty useless. Honestly? Uh, between... I mean, honestly, I'm kind of concerning the amoeba. Even though it's a rare card. Hmm. Or this thing. It's two sacrifice for five health and unknown amounts of damage. I think that's what we're doing. Yeah, goodbye that. You callously slaughtered the bell tentacle. However, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Oh. A minor boon of the bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, that's not so bad. You shook off the viscera of the poor bell tentacle and carried onwards. <laughs> nice. Very colorful. Uh... We want to go there, I think. We'll see if we even make it through this next fight. I got a bone. I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh. Okay, so it's a porcupine, which isn't great for us. Raven eggs. Mantis does not want to encounter the porcupine. Ooh, strange larva. Yes, sir. Hmm. If I put the strange larva here, like I, I'm putting it here because I don't want it to get hurt and I want to leave this spot open for the river snapper so we can fill that combo or whatever. But then the mantis doesn't have a good spot to go. Because we don't want to put him opposite the... the Porcupine, he just dies to it. He wouldn't want to go here either, though, because then he would die to it. So we'll just put the, the larva here. It should win us the, the round in the long run. Took one. We can draw a squirrel. We'll put the mantis... No, it won't kill the fawn, because the fawn's going to come in. We'll wait a turn, and then we'll put the mantis down. I think. We'll see. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I am a- Oh my gosh. Lameo! Alas, it is time for you to perish. I did not do well. 
Hmm, where did I put that camera of mine? It's right here, sir. Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Well, we want a low cost, so we'll pick the one. A cost of one blood from the mantis. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Uh, four, six seems pretty good. Four power and six health from the river snapper. Man, we got him so strong we never even picked him up. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Ooh, okay. The amoeba. This is interesting. A sigil of amorphous from the amoeba. I never did ask you your name. Alright, what do we name an amoebic 4 6 for 1? Uh. Miscount? I don't know. Misprint. Misprint. That's good. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. 